Hey folks, welcome back to yet another exciting episode of Sub-Zero Fishing. We're your host Ben and Chris and today we're on gorgeous, beautiful Lake Champlain, an immense fishery that just borders New York, Vermont and even the Quebec side. Christian, today we're out here. It's a little bit windy but we've got beautiful clear skies. What are we out here doing today? Well, today we're going to target for pike. It's a very good place for pike. You can catch some 15 to 20 pound big pikes if you're lucky but average six to, to 10 pound pike. I'll tell you what, I fish here in the summer, Chris, and this area that we're in right now is absolutely renowned for giant toothy pike. I know we've got some big ones here. What are we using today as far as bait and, and what is the strategy going in? We're allowed to live bait here. So today we're using uh, shiners, live shiners from four inch to eight inch, some very big shiners and uh, all on tip ups to try to cover a lot of territory. We put down the Vexlar, we see tons of smaller fish, whether it be perch, whitefish, even crappie. We know that the bait is definitely here. So stay tuned, folks. We're here on Lake Champlain. You're watching Sub Zero Fishing, Giant Pike. So, Christian, we've arrived at roughly the, right, the location we're looking for. You see, there's this big point here that comes up to about four feet. And you're saying that the bigger pike are holding probably more in the 10 to 12 foot, right? Exactly. So there's a sandbar here, about two feet of water. And you can see uh, how fast it goes deep. So we're going to try to find about between 10 to, to 12 feet of water. We're going to start here to put I, some tip-ups. Okay, look, it's going on. Nice little setup here we got with the tip up, with the shiner, there it is. We're gonna wait for the pike to spool. You see now he's going with the bait. Oh yeah, he wants it. Buddy, I think it's time. Yeah. Here we go. Got him? Yeah. yeah. What do we got here? Oh, first pike of the day, bud. Yeah, first pike of the day. Beautiful, look at, that. Look at the belly on that, Chris. Yeah. I just arrived here like five minutes ago. Uh, we were fishing in 10 to 12 feet of water. I just got two pikes in five minutes. So I'm jigging with a Camusi, uh, Camusi lure. I'm gonna show you them. Very, very effective lures. Uh, smart fish Camusi. Very effective, uh, very, very good lure with a lot of action in the water. I'm like zero for five so far. I don't know what it is, but you know, the, the tip ups, they go down, I get to it. I see the, the line coming off the spool. I go to set the hook, nada. Thank God Christian's here because uh, I'm obviously not uh, being a, an effective member of the team right now. So today uh, our trip for the pike was at uh, on Lake Champlain at Pourvoirie Miller from my good friend uh, Donald. So can you tell us a bit about your, your uh, Pourvoirie? So we've been in the business for over 40 years. My father started it and then it's us, me and my brother. We rent cabins, we supply the minnow for people who want to go fishing. 
and we have people work for us to do drill holes in the ice and uh, sell the minnows and, and take care of the, the people, the clients. And what I like here is there's so many types of fish, uh, pikes, perch, uh, bluegill, some walleyes. There's so 11 different species. 11 different uh, species? species that yeah, you can yeah. Catch. So uh, it's not too far, about 45 minutes from uh, Montreal city. So a very nice place to come. Dude. I don't, this is, this is a heavy fish. Oh my oh, God, oh wow! Hold on, hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Get him, get him, get him, get him! Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Wow. Woo! Big man, oh look at that girth on that. Yeah. Woo! Another nice point so put it back in the water. Take your time. Yeah, take your time. Okay, up. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. There he is! Oh, <laughs> yes, sir! Hi, guys. Today I'm going to talk to you about the way I do my setup for pike fishing uh, with the tip up. So, you see, there's the old style tip up here and you have the kind of new style tip up where you can adjust the eight so there's two way of setting up your weight when you you fish so this is the old type where the 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 weight goes at the bottom directly so you drop your tip up the weight will be at the bottom so logically you see the minnow here and mo what most people think the minnow is going to turn around like this and the pike gonna see him but actually that's not what's gonna happen the minnow will try to hide so right away the minnow will just go at the bottom and as you can see the pike are cruising here and they won't see your minnow yes you can still catch a pike like this but you're gonna catch 10 times more pike if we go with the suspended way that I'm gonna show you right over here same thing except I put the weight on top and the, the minnow at the bottom like this so I can choose exactly how deep I want my minnow so normally we can see it with a flash or after I'll show it to you so you know I target for pike so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put my weight here and the minnow just on top of the weed so the reaction of the minnow is the same with the bottom weight he wants to get he's gonna want to get at the bottom to hide so he's gonna cruise and turn around like this do everything you can to try to hide but this is a perfect uh, place where the pike is gonna see and hit the middle like this so very important use the suspended weight technique all right so we're just about to wrap up here on Lake Champlain on this episode of Sub-Zero Fishing Chris you promised a lot of action and indeed we got a lot of action and uh, I'll tell you what the challenge for, for what I think, and you can sure tell me what you think. We've been here the last few days, and we have pretty much gone through every weather condition they could possibly throw at us in the short time that we were here. Yeah, exactly. Yesterday, we had winds from south, 25 miles per hour, very cold. Today, big sun, uh, no wind at all. So it's, the fish moves a lot, so it's hard to, to target exactly where they are. But we catch, we catch many of them and uh, we had some fun and a great time, so... And that's it. And at the end of the day, you get out there on the ice, set, set yourself up, and look, you catch a few fish and it's better than being inside. Once again, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Sub-Zero Fishing. I'm your host, Ben. And Chris. And uh, we hope to see you next time on our next ice fishing adventure.
Oh, 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 o